Are you looking for the best prepper gifts that are under $50? This is the video for you. Hey, Provident Preppers, I'm Kylene. And I'm Jonathan, and we are here today because we want to share with you a few of our ideas of Christmas gifts for under 50 bucks so that you can make your friends and family preppers too. So, let's, with that one. <laughs> let's get started here. One of our favorites is these dry goods that you can get from the home storage centers that are operated by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And these are just really inexpensive. For what you're getting here, this food is very, very inexpensive. And most of it will store for 30 years. Uh, the carrots will only go for 10 years, but most of these, the rest of these will store for 30 years. So, what a great gift that you can provide long-term food security. Okay, and I, so the black beans over here, it's $6 for that can, and that can has five and a half pounds of black beans in it. Now, the cheapest I can buy um, black beans anywhere is a dollar a pound. And most of the time when I go to the store, they're more than that. So it's actually cheaper for me to buy the black beans already packaged in long-term food storage in these number 10 cans from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints than it is at my local grocery store. Now, um, in case you're wondering, you do not need to be a member to purchase anything. You can purchase them online or at, they're actually less expensive if you go to a local home storage center near you. And I will leave a link in the description of the video, which will just explain all of that. But wow, cheapest way that you can build your food storage anywhere and it's not very much work. And if you're looking for gifts that don't cost very much, I mean, the rolled oats, isn't the rolled oats that are only four fifty? Anyway, I mean five bucks to give somebody a can of food storage. That's that's a really good Christmas gift, I yeah, think personally. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so then let's talk a little bit about prepper library. So um, another gift that's really cool would be books for your prepper library. Um, there's always our book, which. Um, you can purchase it on Amazon. I'll leave a link for you. But um, every like every six or seven months, if you can't afford the book, we actually give away e-copies of it to our audience. And we just did that to celebrate our 100,000 viewers. And that was in September. So um, we should maybe mm, March, summer, summer April, extreme. Yeah. we should be doing we'll be. that again. So just watch because when we do it, we can only do it for a few days because that's all that um, Amazon will allow us. But um, one of the other books that I think is super great for your um, prepper library is Beyond Wheat and Weeds and, by Claudia Orgel. And we have a whole video on this. Um, so I'll leave a link to the video so that you can see some details about this. But it's a really good alternative medicine um, guidebook that would be great to have in your emergency um, prepper library. Absolutely. Um... Another one is this uh, Four Patriots. This is a light with a solar panel. It's also got uh, a window breaker here for breaking a windshield or a side window if you needed to. Um, it can act as a hammer. It's got the lighting, both a, a really bright light here and like I said, lighting here. And you can spin off the back here and use that solar panel to charge your phone. So, very versatile little tool. These run about $30 if you buy one, um, or you can get four for 100 bucks. So, really good choice. And then while you're talking about Four Patriots, why don't you talk about the... Sure. This well, we'll is, leave links to all of this. Yeah, this is their power cell. This also runs in that same range, uh, 30 bucks or four for $100. But For some of us who don't know what a power cell is... Oh, I will describe that. You. This is basically a battery that allows you to, um, you can take this with you. I can charge my phone about three or four or five times um, depending on how far I've drawn it down, but I can do that with this. And there was an incident where my brother-in-law was out snowmobiling and they buried their snowmobile. So they ended up having to try and get help through search and rescue, but they couldn't call. So search and rescue was pinging his phone, but he didn't have one of these and his phone was dying they were pretty freaked out. So just having the ability to charge your phone uh, might be a lifesaver. So um, a great tool, these can be used to charge your phone or other small devices. 
uh, has a solar panel on the front here so that you can charge it up that way. Yeah, and so um, both of those, they were, they were um, you could buy four for $99, right? So 25 yeah. bucks a piece. Yeah. Um, now this is kind of interesting. This is for four by four Patriots. Um, and they, you can tell they just sent us a, a really fun little gift bag that had all kinds of stuff in it. But this is a 72 hour kit. It's only $27. Um, but it only has about 1200 calories a day for each day. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a cranky person on 1200 calories a day. Um, so I think this is really, it's kind of a really cool thing, but I think you need to be careful that you understand what it really is. I think, um, quite frankly, it's more like a 48 hour thing, but so let's open this. Do we, we ever open things like this and see what's really in it? So this is America's Finest Macaroni and Cheese. Nice. Um, creamy rice and vegetable dinner. And Grammy Sweet Oatmeal. Delicious. So, that sounds yummy. Yeah. <laughs> Grammy Sweet Oatmeal. Yeah. Um, and it all comes in this little bag. So um, that's $27. So if you're interested in something like that, this might be a good option for a gift that's under $50. Now, um, oh, I think I'll do this one next. Okay, this is actually really, really cool. Um, and some of the things that we're talking about, you can get away with not um, calling them a prepper gift, so you can give them to people that you love who you want them to be prepared, but they don't really know what it is. So this is a, it's a lava bag. And so you can warm it in the microwave um, or you can put it in the freezer to make it into an ice bag. And um, it's got this really cool little pillowcase, but it's got um, this lava sand in it. And actually John had um, some sore muscles from doing all his honeydew list um, yeah. a, a few weeks ago. And I warmed this and put it on his back and it was really nice. It's Absolutely. got the weight. Okay, Very so good. if you, there's a link in the video, but because we worked out a special deal with these guys, this bag um, is actually $69. But we said, we want to do this for the Christmas gifts so it has to be under 50. So if you use the promo code PROVIDENT, you'll get 20% off, which makes it $48. Um, but this is just, it's a really cool, cool thing. Actually warm. Well, well can't uh, be warm or yeah. cold. Yeah, so. warm or cold. Okay, either warm way, cold. either way. All right, your turn. All right, um, this is one of our favorites right here. This is very versatile. We love the Safe Heat. It stores in these cases. This is 12 cans of uh, Safe Heat. Each one of them burns for six hours, so you can use this for cooking. Uh, you can use it for a little heater. Um, made with the little ceramic pots, the terracotta, the terracotta pots, pots. Um, and we've got a video on that you can look at, but uh, this is a great tool to help stay warm, um, to cook some food. Um, I don't know, I just, I really love this. If you go to Sam's Club, these are a lot cheaper than you can get them online, so yeah. we would encourage you to do that if you can. Get them at Sam's Club, they're what, 17, they're 18 bucks? 18 something, something. so less than right. $20 when you include tax and everything for 72 hours of burn time for a fuel yeah. that stores safely indoors. And make sure, you know, these are the six hour cans and it's called Safe Heat. And Safe Heat can be burned safely indoors. Not all Sterno products can. In fact, yeah, most exactly of them have right. to be used outdoors. Um, and then this little folding stove, this is really cool. Yeah. So it will just fold down, right? Um, and I'll let you do that. And you can fold it all the way. So if you live in an apartment or you have somebody who doesn't have much space or much money, make sure you watch the video that we created on the terracotta pot heaters because that'll kind of explain things. But wow, what a great Christmas gift for not much money. Um, if you buy these on Amazon, they're like $17. I'll leave a link, but seriously, if you go to a place like Cabela's, you're gonna spend less than $10 for them. So it's a much better deal to get them um, from a sporting goods store. They do sell other ones. Um, it, it's a black one that comes in a green package and that one will not hold these cans of safe heat very well. So spend a few extra dollars and get the actual sterno brown because it will work. It works more really, better. really well. Yeah, it'll work more better. More better? What yeah. happened to my <laughs> English? Let's learn to talk more better. Okay, and 
What exactly is this, Johnny? Well, that, let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> let me just show you right there. So, um, the other thing that's kind of fun are these little stun guns, right? Um, this one happens to be a flashlight too. Um, I go walking with one that's a baton um, that has the flashlight on the end, but it also has um, the electrodes all the way down the side. So if somebody tries to take it away from me, um, they, they can't. And we have a video on that and it's kind of fun because we- It's a little we, entertaining. Um, yeah, we weren't very nice to some of our family members and they all got to, to be stunned. They're so much braver than I am, but I've actually personally stunned myself a couple uh, times. Several times, yes. Thank and that's you, pretty MS. entertaining too. My baton one was closer to 50, but there are just a whole variety right. of these that, that are available. Pick the one that's going to work best for you. There's yeah. different shapes, different sizes, different um, capabilities. So yeah, Different find, strengths. Yeah, find one that's going to work well for you. Okay, this is pepper spray. And I don't usually buy the little cans at all, um, but this is really cool because it'll shoot 17 feet. I have these strategically located all over my house. Um, when I go anywhere, I've got, you know, I take one in the car. Um, the reason why is because firearms are great, but you can't, I can't carry one with me all the time. I just can't. But because I have one of these in the drawer by the front door, if I'm ever feeling threatened, right, um, I have it really handy. And I, you know, I keep it in my office and my nightstand drawer. They're, they're just everywhere. So um, this is a really, is a really good idea. Um, so do you want to do the lights or do you want me to? Why don't you go ahead? You're on a roll here. <laughs> I'm on a roll here. Um, okay. So for those of you who know, hybrid lights are seriously like my favorite lights ever. Um, they are super, super durable. Um, and they, they recharge, right? Um, so if it doesn't matter if it's a short-term power outage or a long-term power outage, these things are going to be really dependable. Um, in addition, it allows you to charge your cell phone or any USB device. So uh, I keep these actually in my office window yeah. so that they're always charged. Always ready to go. Um, this is another cute little guy that's an expandable one. Um, and so it, it's really nice. Like So for your 72-hour kit or your emergency kit, you've got something that will not only charge your phone, but it allows you um, to have this nice little lantern. So I really like that. Okay, one of the things I forgot to tell you, if you go to hybridlight.com and you use the promo code PROVIDENT, they give you 20% off. So this is actually a 15, $59 device, but if you use the promo code, it takes it down to less than 50. Um, this is 38, I think, if I remember right. Somewhere around there. And it will take it, it will take it down further Somewhere too. Somewhere around so, 30. So it makes it so that it's nice and affordable. And, um, you know, this is something that, so your kids aren't preppers, right? But maybe they would take this as a camping gift, right? Or something yeah. like that, because it, it truly is really cool. And one of the final things, especially for those who have, um, presents that they want to give as prepping presents, but the person they're giving them to might not be a prepper. Um, okay, this time of year, we have all kinds of wonderful, soft, warm blankets that are out there and they go on sale really cheap. And so think about blankets too, because if we have a power outage this winter, blankets are really important and sometimes we're really spoiled because we have the heater on all the time so we don't realize how many blankets we really need to stay warm so that's another really good one so there you have some really great ideas um whichever of these would be welcome gifts for preppers and and even non-preppers so um yes 
Show them the $50. That's... <laughs> or you can give them $50 <laughs> and have them, well, I don't know no, if they no, 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 actually no. <laughs> go buy Frepper stuff. So, But it's anyway. sort of, okay, what about $50 to stock their pantry, right? We had a friend of ours who um, she bought copies of our books because she was able to come and get them for us. She could get a deal, but in each one of the sections of our book that she wanted them to focus their money on, she put some money right in that chapter to be mm -hmm. used specifically for that. And that's not gonna work for all families, but I thought that was a really yeah, creative that's, idea. That's clever. And if you just don't have much money, what about doing something like creating a list of emergency phone numbers for all of your adult children or um, something like that where you could give it to them so that they had that physical copy or some maps or um, there's all kinds of creative things that you can do because sometimes we're shorter on time than we are on money. Usually we're short on both. But this one, okay. I think it's mine now. Well, it probably should be. Yeah, that's what I think. You usually end up with all of it in I have so. plans for this. So you should say the question of the day. Okay, so the question of the day is, what prepper gifts are you giving this year? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.